<clears throat> Hello teachers or students, whoever this is going to. Uh, today I'm going to show you a couple things on YouTube. How, First of all, how to create a YouTube channel. And then also how to manage the videos on your account. Also how to upload videos to your account. Um, so, um, be honest, this is a little bit off the cuff. I tried to search on YouTube for videos showing you this process I'm going to show you. There wasn't very many good ones. Um, so, <clears throat> a little bit off the cuff here, I but we're going to get through it real quick. So, here's YouTube. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to sign in. So, I'm going to click on sign in, and I guarantee you it's going to sign you into the account I already have, uh, which is my teacher account. Yeah. So, I have another Mogul Will Excel account I'm going to use um, because I already have my YouTube channel here. It's already recommending, video, recommending videos to me. So I'm going to say switch account, uh, add account. So if you're not signed in to, with any account at all to YouTube, or if it's your first time making a YouTube channel, you'll probably see a screen that looks like this. So you're going to, this is the account I'm going to use, the NR teacher student copy account. That's the account I'm going to use. You might have, if this is your uh, you might have to press this user another account to enter in your credentials. But here we go. Ask for your password. All right, so now I am signed into YouTube. Um, so there's a couple things you can do here. Um, this little button right here at the top, that is, that is basically a, where you're going to add your content. It's also where you can uh, create a live video. And by the way, if you're a teacher and you want to use live YouTube videos, you need to press this button, uh, to activate your account 24 hours and wait 24 hours before you can start making live videos. Um, I'm just going to go to upload video. And here we go. My creator journey begins. Um, what is this asking me? Pursuing your creative passions, catching with your stories began with creating your channel. Get started or no thanks. Okay, so this is a way to customize your channel. Like, for example, if you don't have a picture associated with your account or if you want to make your banner fancy, if you want to make your YouTube channel professional, you know, like catch a lot of subscribers and stuff, this is probably where you want to go. I'm going to say no thanks because I just want to do the simple thing. I just want to upload a video and post a link. Uh, oh, well, maybe I do have to press get started. Let's see. Let me try that again. I'm going to press upload video. Yep. Okay, I have to get started. Okay, choose how you want to create your name uh, channel. Use your name. Uh, so my name, it thinks my name is NR Teacher Student Copy, which is just fine for me. It's If you're a teacher or a student, it might actually have your actual name here. Or use a custom name. Um, again, I just want to go with a simple route. Just use the name it already has for me. Okay, so this is just getting started. Uh, this is just creating your YouTube account. Or your YouTube channel, excuse me. So before you upload any videos, it needs to have some information about you. So upload a profile picture. I don't have a picture. Um, again, I just want to upload. I'm not wanting to get fancy. I just want to um, upload a video. Tell us about your channel. No, thank you. Add links to your site. No, not really. Well, so if you want to have your channel to have information about your Google Classroom or something, that's fine. But I'm guessing most of you guys probably have all the information on Google Classroom that you need. You don't need to put on YouTube. So set up later. I don't need to do that stuff. Okay, finally, this is where I want to be. Upload a video to get started. Okay, great. Um, and again, you can customize your channel. We're going to visit YouTube Studio in just a second. Upload video. All right. So now it's going to ask me to select a file. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see all of this from your screen, but when I press select file, um, and you might notice that it also says drag and drop, which means I can drag a file from my file explorer. So I would open a file explorer, or if you're using Mac, there's probably some weird name for your file explorer. Um, and let's see here. 
Um, there's a very short video that I recorded earlier for my class. This is day two vid. This is a quick video, but it's also not too short, so you guys I can actually see it happening. So I'm gonna click on that, click open. So now it's, uh, now it's uploading my video. While it's uh, uploading, I can actually do some stuff while I was thinking about all that. So it says uploading, so my video is not ready, but I can still give it a name. Like, like day two vid, maybe I wanna say day two video. Um, I can give it a description. I could say, hello class. Welcome to day two of term four. Please watch. Please watch this quick video. Okay. So, a description. Thumbnail. I can't pick a thumbnail, but a thumbnail is basically where if I want to customize my thumbnail, what my video looks like before people press play. Playlists. Um, I'll go back. I'm going to get back to playlists later. Um, I always click no is not made for kids. I think you have to like acknowledge something special if your video is made for kids. So I always say no. I think you can leave it alone. I don't think you even have to touch that. Uh, but basically, you know, just go through the prompts on this video. It's basically just trying to ask you who is this video for? How would you like to customize it? I don't have with video elements. That's like if you want to add an in-screen where like you have links to more videos and stuff. Again, you know, you've probably seen YouTube videos, do fantasy stuff like that. I'm just trying to go the simple route. This part's important though. Visibility. So you got the name of your video, you got your description of your video, which, are pretty, which is probably pretty important. Your visibility is really important for who you want to share it with. Public, uh, that's if you want anyone to be able to see your video, anyone can search for your video, anyone on YouTube can see it. Some of my videos I say public because, you know, they're educational. If somebody wants to find it, why not? Uh, a lot of my videos are unlisted because um, I'm just making videos for class. And so these are just videos I want my students to see. I don't really think the whole wide world should see them. Private, uh, only you and people that you invite can uh, see your video. Don't really recommend this one for class because what if for some reason you forget somebody or somebody new joins class and they have to go back to the day one video. I think unlisted is the best option to go because then you could just, if you're a teacher, you can just leave the link in your classroom and people can click on them. So anyone who has that link can see your video is what it says. And as I've been talking for so long, my video is uploaded now. Um, so here's the link right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and open this in a new tab. And we'll come back to that later. Um, and we'll, we'll watch that. I can also schedule a time for my video to be made public. If you want to use that option. Okay, whatever. So I'm gonna click save. I have everything customized I want to. So really the biggest three things I would advise you is your title, description, and then who's gonna see your video. Just don't forget to uh, mess with those three things. So here we go, video published. I have a link to my video. I can press this button to copy the link instantly. Now I can paste that link in classroom or send an email, however you share your course material. Let me click close here. Okay, so I, I think this is automatically the YouTube studio. So uh, I'm going to show you how to get back to the screen from the main YouTube page in a second. But just notice that this is where all your videos are going to be shown. I'm sorry, I'm moving around my face there. All my videos are going to be shown here. Um, I can go back and edit the details. I can look at stats. I can look at comments. I can press this button to view the YouTube video, uh, which I will in a second to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, I told you I was going to go back to playlists. So on the left side here are playlists. In fact, I think if you click on your account button in the right upper right-hand corner, never mind. This is not there. So if you click on playlists, it opens a new tab. You guys, yeah, this is recording in a single tab. Hang on a second. All right. Got some info about COVID right there. Okay, so I don't have any playlists right now. So I'm gonna make a new playlist. I'm just gonna say, call one playlist science class. And notice that uh, like our previous um, permissions thing, there is a button right here to select who exactly is going to be able to see my playlist. I can make it public, unlisted, private. I'm just going to go public just to make this quick. Create. 
Um, and then I can start adding videos to my playlist. So, but where do I go to do that? I don't see anything anymore. So I see the playlist now, but where does where my videos go? Where's the last video I made? This is where you press this account button and click on your channel. By the way, if you make a private video, um, you're not going to be able to see it unless you click on my channel. So to find the videos you've uploaded, account button, click on your channel, which I already did, and click on YouTube Studio. And then on the left side, videos. So I know that it's kind of a lot of steps to get there, but again, upper right hand corner, your button, click on your channel. Then click on YouTube Studio. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess if you just click on YouTube Studio from the account button, yeah, that's a much faster way. Click on, just click on your account button and click on YouTube Studio. Oh wait, well it doesn't show from here. Okay. Anyway, you click on videos, get your videos. So let's say I wanted to add this video to that playlist. I can click the checkbox here, add to playlist, which is this button right here. It's kind of cut off, but whatever. And then I, if I add more than one playlist, I can select the playlist. I'm just going to say save. The reason playlists are pretty cool is because if I, let me go back to the playlist screen here. Yeah, it's not going to let me do it. I'm going to go back to the playlist screen. So right now I only have one video on my playlist, but just like a playlist, I can copy the address here. Web, I can copy that web address up there um, and share that playlist just like I could share a video. So as long as I have the permission set right for my playlist and my video, I can share the playlist. I can maybe if I want to share four videos at once, which I've done in the past, you can do that. Uh, so here we go. Here's my YouTube video for my doubters out there. So congratulations, on, congratulations on making it to the job. I just want to tell you real quick um, to kind of remind you. Yeah. So uh, there's my YouTube video, uh, and so that is my tutorial on. We made a YouTube account. Uh, we. Got ready to upload a video, uploaded a video, and even made a playlist to put that video in. If you have any questions, comment on this video, uh, email me, um, let me know any way I can help. Um, also, by the way, as a little bonus, this is a little fun little button, edit with Ud puzzle. So look out, look out for a video that I'm going to post, not from me, but from someone else who explains how to add that button so you can use Ed puzzle really fast with YouTube videos. Um, I think that's all I have to show you guys. Like I said, any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you later.